Hey there everyone, happy Friday TGIF, the first Friday of 2023, King 5, meteorologist Adam Claybon here to go over uh, just uh, more of the unsettled weather that we still have going to kind of explain what's been happening with all these atmospheric river events out along the west coast and how that trend looks to be more of a theme here as we go at least through the middle of January. It looks like again though a lot of that going to be staying down across California, but how it will also mean uh, more rain chances for us here as we head over the upcoming week. We can keep things relatively mild this afternoon, though, not going to be too bad. Of course, have the rain gear handy if you're going to be outdoors, but uh, not a lot of heavy rain really around. And at least for right now, Tacoma uh, looking fairly, fairly quiet. Cloudy skies, uh, a faint look at Mount Rainier that's off into the distance right there. Kind of a, a really bright glow within some of those thinner clouds. Now here in Seattle, kind of a similar story too. not a whole lot really happening other than a few light showers that are moving on by and winds lighter here out along the coast looking live there at Westport camera. Not shaking as much as what it was uh, just back on yesterday, but we still have some breezing conditions that we can see here as we head on into uh, the evening. Now, a couple of days from now, Seahawks Rams, we got that season finale for the Seahawks. Now that's the regular season. Hopefully we got playoffs to go here as we go on into uh, the next few weeks, uh, but either way, it is going to be the last game at Lumen Field. That seating won't be high enough to get a home playoff game, but you can see the temperatures right around that 50 degree mark. Increasing rain chances. Make sure to have the rain gear if you're going to be heading out to that game uh, later on into Sunday afternoon. And those temperatures around the 50s, again, something that we're going to see quite a bit of here, not only just through the weekend, but even into next work week. Today, 51, 49 for tomorrow. We'll see off and on showers, and it looks like uh, rain picking up throughout the afternoon on Sunday, picking up here into the evening as well, especially once you head into your evening commute. Now, look at the wind speeds and look at where we have some of the higher winds. They're out there along the coast where we saw a lot of that yesterday, too. Uh, but it is coming down. We're only around 10 to 15 miles out into some of those parts. The color coding that you see there out along the coast too, kind of showing you where we do still have some breezy conditions across some of those parts. But up around Woodby Island, that's where we have, uh, that's where we have right now the highest wind coming in at about 21 miles per hour here into uh, your early Friday afternoon. And some gusts are out there, uh, 21 as you get closer to East Sound, uh, around 18 in Bellingham. High spot though out there in Quillu, northern parts of Quillum. Uh, Clallam County coming in at 32. Now the rain has not been oppressive and that's something that uh, we've really been stressing with a lot of these systems that have been coming through that rain amounts ha will not be uh, all that heavy and all that impressive really as we go throughout this next week or so we're going to see some heavier pockets but generally things are uh, not too bad around here. The heaviest rain has been down in California and it has uh, brought some improvements. Now you can see the red color showing up across California. Uh, that's where we have extreme drought, where you have more of that deeper red. That is actually exceptional drought and that has disappeared down to California. So yes, we, we do not like the uh, the flooding and all the other uh, sort of impacts the heavy rain has brought down to California, but we need the rain down there and has been bringing in at least some relief when it comes to drought uh, con concerns down into those parts. But it's also been improving our conditions here into parts of uh, western Washington. Abnormally dry soil, that yellow has shrunk, and then also that tan color for the moderate drought. That has also gotten quite a bit smaller here over the past few weeks. Still more rain to come today. Expect those temperatures around the 50 degree mark. Better chances here into the evening commute between about 3 to 7 o'clock and then we'll see more off and on chances, especially once we head past midnight tonight. There's the radar. You can see some of those showers moving north out of King County and through King County right now. Uh, looks like the drive along I-90 uh, is going to be a little wet if you're going to be heading east right now. Uh, you can see that moving into Snohomish County. Also seeing some showers up there across parts of Clallam County, but uh, rain shadowing because of the Olympics around Port Angeles and Squim, uh, even around Discovery Bay going to keep things uh, to a very minimum when it comes to uh, the rain amounts that we're expecting with this. So here's our next system. It's moving on through. It will bring that wave of rain here later into the evening, but a lot of the moisture stays farther to the south. Plus you got that next one right behind that. That's going to be heading into care. Guess where to California with more rain. Now I, I wanted to go over just how that is really taking place uh, this right here. This is uh, a look at the Pacific Ocean where you can see some of those lighter blue is showing up. That is where we have that train of very high moisture in the atmosphere where we have that atmospheric river where storms are able to tap into that and produce some of the heavier rain that we've been seeing here recently. So as we look at that, you can see I'm going to go ahead and fast forward over the next uh, really few days. You got the first one, the lighter blues. That's the atmospheric river, not quite as light. So kind of a weaker one as we head
head on into tonight and into the day tomorrow down in California. Again, though, it's directed down there into uh, the Sunshine State going down that way into uh, areas of California again, heading on into Sunday evening and into Monday. Oh, guess what? Mm. A lot of rain heading into that. That's going to be a stronger atmospheric river that comes on through and we'll see some moisture again get thrown up our way, but most of it heading farther south into the state down there. Then we got another one that's coming in right behind that. That one probably not quite as strong a little farther north with that into northern California and southern Oregon. We'll probably get a little more rain with that as we head on into next Tuesday and Wednesday and then you'll see another one comes in behind that that will help to reduce more rain down into parts of California, maybe more so Southern California with that event as we head into late next weekend with a more moisture really to tap into as we just keep this pattern going at least into again the middle part of January. So let's talk about the here and now for us up here across Western Washington. Showers are moving in here during the evening commute. Most of that rain activity that's going to be a bit more organized does break down, especially once we get past midnight and we'll keep some of the snow chances up across the Cascades. By tomorrow, you'll see that it looks like chances are going to be very little as we head into the morning hours. We'll see the better chances by the afternoon, so we'll go from about 7 to maybe noon seeing little rain. Then we'll head into the 1 to 2 p.m. hour and start to see some of that rain come on through here across western Washington. That starts to taper off again by about midnight and then we'll head into Sunday expecting to see those increased chances of rain by the latter part of the day there and heading into the evening, but I did want to stress again that the rain is not going to be all that impressive. We're talking amounts from right now up until early Sunday morning at about 5, 530. Um, a third of an inch, maybe a quarter to a third of an inch around Puget Sound. Let's amounts farther north, Friday Harbor, Bellingham, up across uh, the San Juan Islands and into Camino and Whidbey Island, due in part because of that rain shadowing from the Olympics. We'll keep amounts there around a tenth to two inch, and then higher amounts expected closer to the coast, where we could see anywhere between three quarters of an inch to maybe an inch and a quarter there. And with that being the case, too, don't expect uh, amounts of snow to be all that high as we go throughout the next day and a half to uh, two days uh, through. Sunday morning, 5 o'clock, we're talking about maybe a half a foot around Crystal Mountain White Pass and closer to a foot at Fort Mission Ridge, while areas closer to Snoqualmie Pass and Stevens Pass will come in between about 2 to 6 inches and about a half a foot for Hurricane Ridge. High temperatures, we'll keep those right around the 50 degree mark, average high 47, so we're going to be sitting slightly above average and those overnight lows are not going to be too chilly either. Here we go for today. Expect highs in the 50s farther north, so fairly mild. Those showers kind of here and there. We'll see highs right around 49 in Kingston, 52 in Redmond, Issaquah, hitting 52 degrees for a high. South Sound seeing highs in the upper 40s to low 50s. Federal way up to 51. Enumclaw, 51 degrees, and then out closer as you get closer to the coast here tonight. Expect some of those lows to drop down into the lower 40s. About 42 in Renton, uh, upper 30s around Olympia and in Puyallup, with those rain chances still kind of around. Again, most of those will be prior to midnight. And then we'll go throughout the next week. We'll keep the rain chances in place throughout the next few days. Uh, as far as any sort of uh, drier day that you might be looking out for, uh, maybe as we head on into next Tuesday, we'll get just a few showers around with more partly sunny skies. But uh, we'll see things dry out a little more towards the latter part of Monday as well. But uh, really for the next few days, uh, these rain chances are going to come in here as we head throughout the day. They'll be off and on, and a lot of it will be relatively light, but still uh, kind of in place as we head on into the next week or so. So that, that's what's going on as far as our systems and really the pool and the, the, the train of atmospheric rivers that uh, they've been dealing with down in California and how that has been and will continue to impact us here as we head into uh, the next few weeks. All right, everyone, take care. Try to stay dry and also enjoy the milder stint of weather that we have here as we go throughout the next week or so. Uh, of course, we'll have more updates for you coming up later this evening during the four and five o'clock show. So make sure to tune in to a King five news. Have a great weekend. For more local news coverage, live and on demand, watch King 5 Plus. Download free on Roku and Fire TV.